Now, you guys, I have talked a lot about forgiveness. Um, because it's so important. It's, it's extremely important. Holding on to grudges, holding on to anger, hurt, frustration, bitterness, rage, violence. Holding on to those energies towards another person does more harm to you than anything else. The other person doesn't know or care in most cases if you forgave them or not. Forgiveness is not about reconciling with that person. Forgiveness is about letting that shit go so it doesn't eat you alive. Okay? Period. You never have to talk to them again. But one of the things I always tell you guys is that the first person you need to forgive is yourself. Because a lot of times you are harboring resentments, shame, all kinds of guilt because of something you did or didn't do or somebody you dealt with or shouldn't have dealt with. A lot of us harbor unforgiveness towards ourselves. So I was, of course, I was online. I was on, um, I was on Instagram. I was on Instagram. And this person um, who was on my page posted a list of things to forgive yourself for. And I wanted to tell you guys this list because I was like, I think a lot of people need to hear this. Okay. So let me do the introduction. I'm Queen on Set Her Room. And thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and pass it on to anybody and everybody that might like it too. Please drop us a positive comment in the comment section. And if you want to get a reading done, please hit me up. Um, my email and all my information is underneath this video. If you would like to become a patron, that would be excellent. If you would like to um, check out the Ask an Aquarius merchandise, there's a lot of information. All of it is underneath this video. Okay? So let's talk about some things to forgive yourself for. So some of these might apply to you. Some of them might not. All of them might apply to you. None of them might apply to you. But you might know somebody else that you can help through this. So things to forgive ourselves for. Number one, going back to unhealthy relationships. It is very common to go back to an unhealthy relationship. Aquarius are often, many of us, are revolving doors. Not all of us. But many of us go back to unhealthy situations because we really haven't got the lesson from it or we're still not over it or God knows what else. So this could be with lovers or family members, even our own parents. So if you struggle with getting out of an unhealthy relationship and you find yourself going back to it and now you're trying to struggle to get out of it again, forgive yourself once you're out of it. Don't hold that against yourself because many people do. I've talked to a lot of people and they're like, I can't believe I did this. And I'm like, you know what? Just get out of it and don't hold on to the shame and blame and guilt that you're holding against yourself. You are in this unhealthy situation because something is going on with you. Usually it's a mental health kind of thing. So you're going to struggle with that journey. That journey is not an easy one. Now, yeah, you need to back up off unhealthy relationships, but you don't need to beat yourself up while you're putting yourself through the journey. So now this unhealthy relationship, this unhealthy abuser is abusing you, and now you're abusing yourself. So you got to be gentle with yourself. You got to forgive yourself and move on. Forgive yourself for self-sabotaging. Some people self-sabotage. Oftentimes Aquarius do this and other people too, of course. So forgive yourself when you've realized that you've sabotaged yourself. Forgive yourself and then don't do that anymore. <laughs> Work through not self-sabotaging, but don't beat yourself up. Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for not leaving sooner. A lot of people in abusive situations say this to me after it's over. They'll say, I should have left 20 years ago. I should have left two years ago. One young lady said to me a couple days ago, she said, I should have left after she, she was with a woman. And she said, I should have left after she hit me the first time. And she's holding guilt and blame against herself because she didn't. And I'm like, yeah, you probably should have left. I'm sure we all should have. 
but don't should and would and could yourself. You left when you figured it out. Don't beat yourself up for not figuring it out immediately. You thought that you could change things. You thought you could work things. You could heal them. You could change them. There's lots of reasons why we do that. Forgive yourself for judging other people. Uh, many of us are very judgmental and very critical about other people. I see this online all the time. People are so critical, especially about celebrities and influencers and, you know, TikTok stars and people like that. We're so critical with them. And we judge each other equally as harsh. So, number one, forgive yourself for judging others and then stop judging others. <laughs> then you don't have to worry about forgiving yourself for it. Forgive yourself for being dishonest. Now, the truth of the matter is, is that you should be honest. But if you've been dishonest in the past or if you've, you know, been in a situation, you got to forgive yourself for that and move forward. I think a lot of these, it's like do better next time. You know, don't guilt yourself and shame yourself for it. Just stop <laughs> and do better next time. You can't change the past, but you can change the, the, the present and the future. Forgive yourself for holding, what is this one? Holding a grudge. Who, how many of us have held the grudge? You know, it's a very human, a very common thing to do. Forgive yourself for it and let go of the grudge. You know, that's where the forgiveness and the release comes in. Forgive it and just let it go. Forgive yourself for not being perfect. You will never be perfect because it doesn't exist. The, the divine is the only entity that will ever be perfect. I don't care what you do. I don't care if you have plastic surgery, if you're well read, if you can ride horses, you got degrees, you got stacks of cash. I don't care what you accomplish. You're still not perfect. It's impossible. So forgive yourself for it because you can't accomplish it. Nobody can. If you were perfect, you would be an angel or something, <laughs> you know, you wouldn't even be here, you know, nobody's perfect. So stop that. Stop doing that to yourself. A lot of people do that. I know people that they nitpick their body and I'm looking at them thinking like, oh my God, you're, you're gorgeous. What do you mean? Oh, my arms are too big. Oh, my legs. Somebody told me one time her arms were too long. This was what she said to me. She said, I hate myself because my arms are too long. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself, you can't do anything about, and her arms weren't too long, first of all. And second of all, what is too long? And number three, you can't do anything if they are. So why hate yourself for something that you can't even affect? You know, you can't change. You can't do anything about it. You can't modify, you know, even if you could. And why should you? Like, just, oh my God. And um, she just didn't feel as though she was perfect because her arms were too long. And I'm just like, uh, the things we do to ourselves. Forgive yourself for not trying harder. Sometimes we give up. Sometimes we just can't do no more, you know? And many of us, especially those of us who were independent and really self-reliant, this does weigh on us. Like maybe I should have tried harder, you know? You ever think about a job or a person, a lover maybe, and think, ah, maybe I should have tried a little bit harder. But chances are, you probably tried as hard as you possibly could. You just feel bad because you didn't succeed. So you got to forgive yourself for that. Forgive yourself for betraying your values. Now, we all know you shouldn't betray your values. But there might have been a time or a situation when you did. And you learned from that betrayal, I'm sure. So you have to forgive yourself for making that decision. And try again, like I said, to make better ones moving forward. Forgive yourself for risking your peace. Sometimes we all risk our peace just for situations or a person that we choose to be with. So you got to forgive yourself for doing that and then don't do that to yourself. Because remember, I told you before, your inner peace is paramount. So if you've done it in the past, I've done it in the past. And I'm like, okay, I, you know, eh, that wasn't the smartest thing to do, but I learned from it. Get the lesson, forgive yourself, move on. Forgive yourself for not always being your best self. 
the best version of you, which is still not perfect, but it's your best, is not always showing up. Your best self does not show up every day. Some days you don't feel good. Some days you're sick. Some days you're tired. Some days you're overworked. Some days you just over it. <laughs> okay? Every day your best self doesn't show up. Even if your best self sh shows up most days, which for most of us is the truth, there's going to be those times when you need to recuperate, rejuvenate, other kind of things may happen. And you can't beat yourself up or be angry with yourself because you're not always showing up as your best self. Your best self would be back, but today you need some downtime. Forgive yourself for it. And times when you make mistakes, you know, when your best self doesn't show up, period, forgive yourself for it. Your best self would be back. Just give yourself time to rejuvenate. Forgive yourself for not speaking up when you had the chance. How many times should you have spoken up and you didn't? I can think of several times when I should have spoken up and did not. You know, when I worked for the school district, there was all kind of stuff going wrong. And I would speak up when things happened that I really cared about. But there was many other times when I could have stepped up more. And I didn't because I knew it wouldn't go anywhere. I knew nobody would care. I knew I would be exerting my energy for something that was not going to give me any results. And I often felt guilty about that. I felt guilty for being complacent with a system that I knew was not good, <laughs> that was flawed. And I should have stuck up more. I should have spoke up more, you know? And I did speak up. I, I went to certain meetings and spoke up and did all kinds of things. But for the 50% of the time that I didn't, I would be very guilty about it. Like, I could have did more. So over time, I had to forgive myself. Like, look, when you had the chance, 50% of the time you spoke up, you know, and for the times that you didn't, you have to forgive yourself for it. And in the future, when you have a chance to speak up, speak up. Forgive yourself for repeating the same mistakes. Sometimes you make the same mistake more than once. Like you ever know somebody, or maybe this is you, and you date the same type of person? You ever meet a man who always dating a gold digger? Like every time he meets a woman, it's a different woman, different ethnicity, different part of the world, but they're always trying to use him. Or a woman who every time she gets with somebody, she's dating an abusive partner. And you like, how do you, how does this happen? Sometimes you repeat mistakes that you don't get, you know? If you don't get something, you oftentimes will repeat it. Forgive yourself for using words to hurt others intentionally. Sometimes we're not our kindest, not our best self. And you might get into a situation with someone and you might, you might say some mean things. I was um, in a, it wasn't really a friendship. I, I was this person's friend, but this person wasn't my friend. And I was in this, uh, you know, friendship, friend of me, whatever you want to call it, situation with this person. And this person at the end of the friendship acted real stupid. <laughs> it was an Aquarius man. He acted real stupid. And I did not handle it well. I don't remember what I said, but it wasn't pleasant. <laughs> it was not pleasant. And I don't know if it hurt this person or not. This person probably didn't care, but it was not me. I didn't like it. And I said to this person, I'm sorry for the way I responded. I'm sorry for my behavior. And this person was like, oh, I don't know what to do with that. Nasty attitude. And I didn't expect anything less or anything more but I had to say I'm sorry because I had to forgive myself I had to clear myself because I let myself down I didn't care about him he's an asshole I let me down because I know better than to respond in that way and most of the time I don't but he got on my nerves <laughs> he got on he he really got under my collar and I did not respond in a way that I would tell somebody else to respond. So I had to forgive myself and tell myself, you know, next time you need to do better. And then I forgave it and moved on. 
And the last one says, forgive yourself for knowing better and not choosing better. They always tell you when you know better, do better. This is the, uh, this is a great advice. I've heard it many, many times, but sometimes <laughs> we know better and we don't choose better. You know, I knew during the time that I was seeing Voldemort, I've told you guys, I knew on several different occasions, probably every day that I needed to get away from this person. I knew better and I did not choose better. And for many, many years, I beat myself up about that. It's like recently, like in the past two or three years. And this is something that happened in my 20s. And just in the past two or three years that I forgive myself for not choosing better. When I knew better, I knew before it even started that I should not even deal with this person. And then after I started to deal with this person, I knew this was the wrong person to spend time with. And I kept walking away from this person. I kept breaking away from this person and then letting the person drag me back, you know? And I kept knowing better and not choosing better. So it took me to walk away like six times <laughs> or something like that before I was able to finally be free. And I finally chose better, but it took a while. And I had to forgive myself for that because I kept telling myself, you so like you so foolish. You already knew you knew before it started. Why would you do that to yourself? That's one of the things I said to myself several times. Why did you do this to me? <laughs> you know, and the reason was because it was a lesson I needed to learn that I wasn't getting. I could have gotten that lesson way before him. And I kept choosing to do the wrong thing. I kept choosing to not do better. And finally, that situation made me grow up and choose better. So I finally forgave myself for it. So when you have that happen to you, forgive yourself for it and then start choosing better. Because remember, the bottom line to all of these things is doing better in the future. Now we're going to take a look at some positive comments. Hey, Ben Smith. Ben Smith said, I'm not sure I'll ever get over my Aquarius. Ben, you might not get over your Aquarius. Um, can you get over it? Yes. Yes. You can do therapy. You can do self-help books. You can do journaling. You can do things to get over any person. Will you and can you are two different things. Yes, you can. But if you will is up to you. Okay. It's a decision. It's a choice. You got to tell yourself, I'm going to get over this and I'm going to find the tools and the resources I need to make that happen. And only you can make that decision. Alexia de la Mora. Okay. I think I said that right. Hey, Alexia. Alexia said, okay, he's not sharing with me, but he asked me what I'm doing almost every other hour. Laugh out loud. I'm a Cancer Sun and he's an Aquarius. Now, the thing about this is, is that the not sharing part with an Aquarius could change. Maybe, maybe not. Depends on the situation. I don't know enough about the situation to really say, but the one thing I can say is just because a person asks you what you're doing every hour on the hour does not mean that they're into you or not. It could mean that they're very much smitten by you. It also could mean that they want to control you and they want to make sure that you're not entertaining another person because they want to waste your time and not let somebody else get you. You got to be really careful with this one. Um, if you want to get a reading, email me because we can find out if this person is wasting your time or if they really like you seriously. But you have to remember there's a thing called love bombing. And when a person constantly hitting you up, hitting you up, hitting you up all throughout the day, sometimes it's just because they like your company. And sometimes it's because they're love bombing you to keep you all to their self because they want to possess, manipulate, and control you. You got to be really careful with that. Okay? All right, guys. You come back soon because I got a lot more to say. <laughs> See you later.